Hello and welcome to Kiska Brand Vijay. Today on the show, we have someone who single-handedly demolished bowling attacks across the world, and that's why he's rightly called the Hitman. So please welcome the Arjuna Award winner, captain of Mumbai Indians, vice captain Team India, destroyer in chief of oppositions big and small, the one and only Rohit Sharma. How are you doing, Rohit? Thank you. Good. Very welcome good. Welcome to Kiska Brand Project. Thank please you. Answer. Thank you. So, Rohit, my first question to you is. From living in Borivali with your grandparents to your list A debut qualifier for the Devdar Trophy to now being the hitman, how has the journey been so far? Also, I wish to understand were there any challenges you faced on the way, and what was the consequent learning you keep with you till today? To talk about a little bit of uh, my journey, uh, it started way back in '99 when my uh, grandfather, who was not uh, anymore with us, uh, he is the one who. Uh, Wanted uh, me to play cricket and play cricket at the highest level sure. uh, because he watched the '96 World Cup and he was crying because we lost in the semi-finals and he said, uh, "You play cricket so well here. You know, I w one day I wish that you would be playing there and helping Team India." And I was so young at that point, I had no idea what to say. Uh, I said, "Yes, of course, I'll play. I'll play for India." In a jokingly yeah, manner, jokingly, you know, yeah. yeah, I was not serious about it at all. I was only nine years old, and then uh, he he got me into a summer camp, which again was very difficult for us uh, to get into because uh, the financials were quite high, and we were financially not that strong at that point. So uh, we somehow managed to get into it, uh, and then from there onwards it started. I I started there as an off spinner because of the fact that. You know, when when you go to these summer camps, there are selections before, right. uh, so you have to stand in queue. So as usual in India, everybody wants to be a batsman, not bowler. Okay. So the batsman's queue was pretty long, and I said, I can't wait here till the evening. I have to, you know, go quickly and start playing. So and I saw at the same time the the bowler's queue was very small. So I went there, although I wanted to be a batsman, but I said I somehow want to get into that summer camp. So it doesn't matter how, whether I get it as a batsman or uh, yeah, as a bowler. So I went there and then, you know, they saw my bowling. They asked me to bowl a few balls. I got selected, uh, played for that team and we reached the finals. And the finals, the team we played with was my school, okay. which I joined later. Uh -huh. So the coach of that school saw me and he said, why don't you come and play for our school? And I went and informed my chachas and my grandfather that this is the offer from the school, should I go? They said, of course you should go, it's it's something that you love and this, this will give you great opportunity. But then I said, I will lose all my friends from the previous school, I started crying. But then somehow I got into that school and from there onwards, I never looked back. Uh, that school journey was something that I learned a lot from because it really taught me hard ways uh, that you will never get anything easy because we used to travel miles Sure. to achieve what we wanted to achieve. Sure. Because from Borivli, I used to come to Churchgate to practice. You, you know, local trains in India, sure. in Mumbai especially, it's so tough uh, because it's always packed and you always have to travel in that rush hours. Uh, our practice used to start at 9 o'clock in the morning, which means you have to take the train at 8 o'clock, which is probably the worst time to get yeah, into the train. Too. And then when we used to finish, it was again, at 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the evening. Again peak time. Again peak time. Absolutely. So it was not easy, but luckily I had a group of friends, sets of friends. We used to have fun, uh, you know, do a lot of musti together and go into, you know, uh, the train, which is why, it, you know, the, that journey became a lot easier than we expected. Which is why when I sit back now and look at all those things, it tells me like, you know, it's, it's not easy, uh, whatever, you achieve, nothing will come so easily to you. So work hard for it. And then yes, obviously, then a lot of things started moving quickly from there onwards. I got selected for under 17 India, then under 19 India, Ranji trophies, your zonals, and then the national team. Uh, so, you know, from there onwards, I've not looked back at all. Uh, I'm happy wherever I am right now. Uh, you know, it, it has, Definitely, uh, I've learned a lot of uh, lot of lessons from all these journeys. Uh.
you don't get to have that luxury while you're playing those uh, under 17s and 19s you, you used to travel in trains no flights uh, no five star hotels and you have to share rooms you know so it teaches you a lot of things so uh, i'm i'm very very happy way the journey has gone for me and how do you plan to intend that your daughter picks up from there oh yes like which is why sport is such a big category in in india you know and it is such a big part of uh, anyone's life because it teaches you so many things while you're growing up even if you're not growing up even you know for mid age people as well like you know sports is something which will keep you active uh, for a younger generation it will teach you so many things as to how you need to come up the ranks nothing will come to you easy so you have to find ways to do it so that is why i i hope my daughter gets into some of the sports great rahul dravid with the wall and ms dhoni with captain cool have managed to carve out a niche for themselves which have seen brands approaching them which match their persona rohit do you think that your tag of hitman or such tags helps one attract the brands so when i when i heard it uh, for the first time i was you know very excited and uh, obviously my name uh, is somewhere involved in that as well it. yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so but i never thought it'll grow on with people so much uh, which is now uh, at this point you know uh, so yeah i mean it's it's quite exciting and it's you know a lot of the younger generations they 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 call me with that name they don't call me rohit okay uh, yeah hit mine can i have your autograph can i can i talk to you about something a lot of debate currently happens on who is most desirable cricketers or bollywood actors these things are probably taken into consideration before celebrities from either industry are signed up for campaigns rohit do you have any do's and don'ts checklist about maintaining a public image see i mean when it comes to that i i try and be myself whether it's on the field or off the field but see now we spoke of bollywood and cricket uh, you know two different personalities bollywood and cricket cricket uh, is you know something that is very limited bollywood and people can act uh, you know as long as they want uh, so for us when when we are playing when we have that opportunity we have limited time we know that and we try and make use of that uh, every time we get an opportunity while doing that we also know that we are role models uh and you know a lot of people look up to us so we want to set an example but that doesn't mean that you have to change something and do out of your way you have to be yourself more than anything else you're not doing it for anyone you just got to be yourself and that is something that i try and do you know ask my teammates and people who are close to me they'll, they'll exactly tell you what i am right there are two terminologies in marketing brand identity and brand image we went to the consumers directly to check the same for brand rohit next there'll be some simple questions and your answers will establish your brand identity we will then go to the consumers and see how close they are to the desired answers so the first question if not cricket what career would you see rohit sharma in i've said it many a times before i don't know if the audience remember that right but i said uh, i would like to be in real estate in real estate yeah okay great so let's see if the audience have got that on have a look in one of his interviews he has mentioned that he likes traveling so i guess a travel blogger i think with a beard and a tan like that i think he should definitely be an actor i think uh, he's a sports person so maybe a table tennis player a football maybe a businessman uh maybe because he likes traveling so travel vlogging as he pulls up most of pranks on indian cricket team he should be a prankster <laughs> <laughs> so lot of suggestions it's a good right. one so okay so tell us something about the pranks that you pull off i don't know if people watched it uh, there was a small video that i made of kedar jadhav okay he's a big salman khan fan uh, so i asked him and we relate kedar as salman khan of our team okay uh, and he likes it so i asked him uh, on that video when are you going to be seen i heard that you were getting an offer for race 4 uh, the new film that is going to come there was no such thing as new film <laughs> i just made it up on the video and he got a call from one of the race 4 uh, film production that what what's are you, are you going to act in the film like you know so, because we heard that there was some of the websites media channels they picked up that you story took prank seriously yes Absolutely. and it was out in the <laughs> publications and kedar was the one who told me about this that 
you know, this is what has happened. Uh, people have called me up and I said, which race for film that you will be part of? Uh, so they were quite confused of that. Uh, but yeah, it was a small little thing that we did. That was great. There are lots, lots actually. And some of them which I don't want to share <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, I'll get phone calls after the interview. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next one. Uh, which product category do you think Rohit Sharma would be best suited to endorse and why? Probably a four-wheeler category. A four-wheeler category, okay. Let's see what they have. A few suggestions for you. Being a sports person, he should endorse shoes. I think uh, hair styling products uh, because he seems to be stylish. I think sports watch because it matches his personality. I would say baby products because he has a cute daughter. Energy drinks, too much stamina is there. Well, now that he's a family man, he has a cute kid and a nice wife. So I think uh, life insurance. That's a good one. Very, very cute. So very, very Family cute. products. I hope I'm giving you lots of this thing. Yes, family, family <laughs> product, yeah. Okay, let's, okay. Which app do you think Rohit Sharma uses the most? Yeah, since they've been only talking about traveling, right. and I assume that they should be thinking that I, I would be using WhatsApp because I want to see my family. WhatsApp? Every now and then, so. should go for news apps. I think Crickbus. I think a wise gentleman like that belongs to Twitter. Instagram, because I have seen many, many posts of him on Instagram. I think it could be a memory app because he forgets a lot. That's what Virat Kohli said earlier. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> memory app, okay. And the final one, what should be the title of Rohit Sharma's biography? What do you see is what you get. What you see is what you get. An interesting one. Let's see what the audience have suggested. For me, it should be uh, Hitman Sharma. It should be Crick Shot, Big Shot. I think he's just too good as a batsman, so maybe uh, the unbeatable batsman. Century Man. Isn't he a Mumbai Indians player? I think somewhat like Mumbai ka Khiladi. I guess the ultimate opener. <laughs> okay, so lots of interesting ones. <laughs> Ruth, you've had an interesting brand journey, which has only grown over the years. You endorse some of the most premium brands of the country, be it Hublot, Adidas, Nissan, Seat Tires. Were these decisions a conscious choice of your own or your IMG Reliance, which is your agency? Or do you take up whatever comes your way? There are a lot of things that goes into uh, making an association with a brand. Obviously, uh, you know, we, we sit across every month to discuss what we want to do, uh, what we want to achieve. Uh, because see, like I said, you know, cricket is one thing and what right. you do outside that is another thing. Sure. And I want to be part of both. Absolutely. Because, you know, you have the opportunity to indulge into both sides of the world, so why not? In past, there have been perception of people like, oh, cricketers shouldn't endorse, mm -hmm. they should just focus on cricket. But I just want to remind them that uh, doing endorsement, indulging into all those kind of things, doesn't take your focus away from cricket. Sure. You know, every month we, we meet, we strategize, and we see where we stand and what we need to do uh, as a team, uh, you know. So those are the things we, we, we try and do before getting an association. Sure. And once the association happens, the first thing I, that I look into is whether there's a connection or not. Mm -hmm. Like I can give you examples. Sure. Adidas was something which I really loved. Every time you see me, I'll be wearing that shoes. Half half of my closet is filled with Adidas shoes right. because I love Adidas and there is a genuine love for that product. And uh, I believe that if you don't have that connect, there is no point uh, in getting into any kind of association. Right. If, and it might show also that, yeah, that there is no relevance to the product. Actually. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I think yeah. that is very yeah. important. So all the products, all the, all the, all the associations that we have right. uh, with the brand, there is some sort of connect whether it's a new brand that is coming into the market and they want to get bigger. Uh, so I want to try and help them to get bigger. Sure. And I want to challenge myself to take a new brand uh, and make them reach at the greater heights. Whether I have that capacity or I have that capability or not, that depends completely on me. So I have to challenge myself there. Rohit, I also want to understand, do you go that extra mile to add value to your endorsement deals? Yeah, absolutely. I like we sure. signed a brand called Highlander. Mm -hmm. It's a clothing brand. And uh, the, the first meeting that we had with them was about what is the brand expecting from me. 
and of course they laid out their thoughts and then it was us that uh, it was me who uh, told them exactly what i want from the brand and then i told them personally that i would like to get into your creative uh, designing part of uh, as well okay. you know where i design what i wear what i like because i am the one selling it to the people right uh, i am the face of the brand so i exactly want people to know what i am wearing and is what is available out in the market oh. like whether it's your the long line t-shirts that i wear whether it's the narrow cut uh, trousers that i wear whatever it is you know i gave them those ideas and they were really happy and yes uh, you must have seen the recent uh, hublo edition yes. world cup watch yes watch well, yes it was purely designed uh, you know by all of us uh, you know if you see the watch in particular uh, there are stumps on the watch there are bats there is a bat which is uh, which is in the watch and if you see the leather of the watch it's it's the seam is the is the seam of the ball you know the threading so basically those ideas were put across to them and they were kind enough to you know uh, take those ideas and uh, implement that Okay, talking about endorsements, most sports stars get endorsements based on their performances. A couple of bad series can hamper their equity in the market. So, is there a pressure on you from your management on the same? And after a series of good performances, do you shoot up your price to cash on to the added equity? Yeah, I think so. It's a it's a fair judgment from their side. Sure. Uh, but as cricketers, we never look into those things. I sure. personally never sure. look into those things. Sure. Because my sole and whole focus first. is to play cricket that has been my dream and i'm living my dream that is allowing me to do other things so sure. if i don't play cricket nothing will be with me uh, nobody would want to associate with me because if you look at india it's such a big market and india is one of the probably top ranked country in the whole world you know so the competition is there sure. from the media itself you know there's so many journalists around so they want to do something or the other they want to write about something so they're looking for things and when you give them things to write they will write and i don't i don't judge them with that they're doing their job as long as we keep doing our jobs and we are happy with it sure. nothing should matter perfect rohit you have a combined total of over 37 million followers across all social medias was this a conscious effort by you to build this digital presence or did it just simply flow as an extension of your brand personality do you manage your social media accounts yourself or do you have social media managers who do the same for you it it's social media is is a great tool mm-hmm. but it depends how you use it shop sure. you know and people on social media are very sensitive these days mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. they tend to react quickly whether it's a humor that you have posted or whether it's anything sensitive you have posted people like to pass their judgment on that right very quickly so yes you have to be aware of what you're doing but again i want to try and be myself on my social media i've posted a lot of humors about my teammate about the game and things like that uh, you know and people have reacted in a positive way people have reacted in a negative way but again that's that's the nature of social media uh, not you will not every time have the positive influence are you bothered about trolls and criticism not at all like not you know not. it's been a long time yeah. since you know all that things have been left behind sure again i want to use social media for good cause Sure. Uh, spread awareness because i know uh, your if a uh, one message that you're posting sure. it can change so many lives sure. and sure. It, so many lives yes but if it changes one life also i'm happy sure. you know uh, so that is how i want to use the social media and then of course uh, uh, a little bit of uh, humor about my teammates will keep happening perfect Rohit, we've reached our next segment internet ask rohit sharma where we will ask you a few questions the fans are posing to you online So let's see what they are curious about. Okay, so shall we begin? Sure. Yeah. yeah, let's see the first one. Okay. So Rahul wants to know, this is a picture of you with with the fan in the World Cup, probably the oldest Indian fan. What is the best fan moment for you, Rohit? So can you tell us your favorite fan moment? This was actually quite nice because yeah. you know this the, the lady she she watched the entire game. and then uh, i i remember it was so cold this was if i'm not wrong this was in birmingham yeah after uh, we finished the game it was i think india versus bangladesh if i'm not wrong and she watched the entire game and when i 
that's that's our dressing room actually you can see the stairs there yes so that's the way to uh, go up to your dressing room and while i was just walking towards that she was standing there and she said well played beta i uh, am uh, very proud of you and you will win the world cup this year uh, and you know that 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 feeling that i got at that point was just unmatchable because you know i was not expecting something like that and she was while talking she was shivering because you know it was so cold and then i spent few minutes talking to her about the game and she knows everything about cricket by the way absolutely she had seen all the world cup games and she was telling me how i got out in the second game against australia maybe you should try and avoid that ball next time okay. don't don't play cut shot <laughs> which was good uh, which was really good because it was coming from the heart you know right. uh, it was no criticism it was coming from the heart and i really loved it and i told her by while just walking up i i told her that we will try and win the world cup for you next one please this is a very interesting one chennai super kings has actually retweeted something with a comment which is defining ambush marketing in style both the hashtags right there so what do you have to react to this <laughs> it's a good one uh, but i think uh, chennai super kings csk i think they have forgotten that samira bleeds blue uh, bleeds blue as in mumbai indians and india as well absolutely <laughs> so and in fact there are a lot of pictures of her uh, on my social media wearing mumbai indians jersey but yeah i think they tried they tried well absolutely <laughs> next one hanuman ji ke baad agar kisi ne lanka ko barbaad kiya tha to rohit sharma this is what sushruti has to say <laughs> what do you have to reply to her <laughs> which is she yeah, has got to me rohit sharma 264 runs sri lanka 251 runs rohit sharma 1 for 13 runs <laughs> <laughs> No, I must admit that Sri Lanka has been very kind to me. Uh, <laughs> they have been actually in this game. Somebody dropped a catch when I was at four, huh. and then I got two sixty runs more. So obviously <laughs> that guy who I don't want to name him, he he met me at the breakfast tomorrow and he said, "I will not be able to land in Sri Lanka, sir. What did you do?" So now let's come to the next part of our questioning, and that's IPL. You've had the best record for IPL. IPL also has a lot of brands and they want to associate themselves with IPL and all the different teams as a result of which cricketers end up doing a lot of ads during the IPL do you think it takes away from the essence of the game and as a captain how do you approach such things or regulate them no look i i, I can't really talk about the other franchise i can definitely talk about mumbai indians right. uh, we've set up a great way of handling this uh, sure. at the start of the IPL we do most of our brand endorsements brand commitments and everything before the tournament starts sure so basically your workload management becomes very important right when you're playing IPL uh, because every second day you're traveling there's a certain responsibility towards your franchisee towards the franchisee that endorses certain brands sure uh, so how you deal with your personal brands sure you shouldn't differentiate that oh this is this is franchisee brand so i'm not going to give my 100% that's absolutely wrong uh, you have to think as if this is your own brand and of course this is part of playing in ipl tournament uh, so in that way uh, we at mumbai indians we are very lucky everything finishes off before before we start the season so a lot of credit has to go to mumbai indians management to finish that off before Depending. before the season yeah. but i do believe it is very very important to do it rohit last season virendra sehwag told me while playing for ipl his earnings got reduced as he had to do endorsement deals for the team as the most successful captain of mumbai indians do you believe in the same that's very why for you <laughs> uh, but no i look at it in a different way huh. i i feel if the brand has a connect with you they will get you anyway right and that is totally on you what you do and what appeal you have sure. for the brand for the brand to come and associate with you it doesn't matter whether the brand is associated with IPL and wants to associate with you separately it doesn't matter it's entirely up to you and the brand and i feel you have that appeal and then brand will connect with you anyway many of your fellow cricketers have invested in multiple ventures be it new apparel brands or athleisure brands or even energy drinks do you have any plans to leverage brand rohit and invest or start such a venture in the near future Yeah, absolutely. I would love to. You know, it's it's a different side of the world, and sure. you know, it is something that that will take a lot of effort, a lot of strategizing. 
to get to where we want to get. A matter of fact is, you know, I've we've already uh, we've finished our talks with New Era, which is the best in the world, and I will be launching my cap range very soon. Oh, wow. So yes, uh, that is one thing, and there there are other talks that is happening currently. Uh, so in future, there might be a lot of things that will come up. We've got a studio audience called Brandwalas in the house, and they are buzzing with brand questions for you, Rohit. So should we go to the first one? Hi Rohit, this is Ashrit. Uh, you've been associated with range of brands, uh, right from Aristocrat to Hublot, uh, which does not advertise much on TV. Is there any reason behind endorsing such brands, which are not the above the line uh, media spends? Yeah, see Hublot. Uh, talking of Hublot, they actually don't do a lot of commercials. They are mainly they just want to be associated with sports in some capacity. Hublot, for the fact that they just got into cricket in 2016, so they'll take some time. Uh, Hublot is a global brand, and they're still uh, trying to know things about cricket. They're still trying to know things about how the Indian market works. So in future, you never know, there might be something that will come up. And Aristocrat, uh, they actually did a lot of digital work. Act, you know, uh, I feel... Digital is a new TV, I believe. Digital is a new TV. Like a lot of, lot of you guys, I'm sure, you know, more than TV, you are on your phones watching what is happening and keeping up with the world. So digital is something this all all my brands are targeting towards because we have seen the numbers of viewership that you get on uh, television and digital platform, and the numbers are massive. Absolutely. There is a huge difference, huge gap between the two. The next one, please. Hi, Rohit. Cricketers nowadays are shying away from endorsing aerated drinks and junk food as well. Do you believe in this? Yes, I do. But you know, I I believe uh, I believe in moderation about these particular brands, you know, it, it has aerated drinks, soft drinks have all been part of our childhood. I'm sure all of you here have been, you know, engaged into that uh, at some when point, you were, at some point of the time. Nobody here has not done it. So I wouldn't say that I want to refrain away from that. I would not because it has been uh, part of my childhood and uh, I use the word moderation. Everything is good in moderation. Anything you do excessively is going to harm you. We've got a fun game for you in our segment, Brand Googly. The situation is simple. We're in the last over. We need 13 runs of six balls. And we've got the man of the moment on the crease, Rohit Sharma. Just that, it's not cricket. We are playing Brand Pong, where the bottom layer gets you two runs, middle four runs, and the top one gets six runs. There are certain brand categories that are there in the cups that you hit. And you have to endorse them in Rohit style. We should. Perfect. Let's let's take a go. I'll go for a six first. You go for a six. Go first. Okay. Let's let's try. Ah, oh, Rohit Sharma can never go wrong with the sixes. Superb. Furniture. There is a, a chair right there which you're sitting on. Why not? Rohit does his iconic brand poses to sell this interesting piece of chair. This is the chair where I come and relax after the game, it makes me feel comfortable. Go buy now. Today in the stores, available. Cue to the set. Person who's made this chair, please auction this one. This will get you a great steal. You can't miss your four as well. Perfect. So this one is a uh, pen. This is not just a pen. This is something that I'm going to write my script of a nine-year-old boy traveling from Borivli to Churchgate to live his dream. So, you go and buy this pen and write your script. Superb! <laughs> Bang on! Rohit Sharma doesn't miss a single shot. This is now uh, microwave. Okay, so let's microwave. sell a microwave. Records, I break them. Chances, I take them. Cookies, I bake them for Samaira. <laughs> Microwaves, go buy now. Available in stores. Both you've done and achieved 
all there is to achieve on the cricket field. Going forward, what kind of legacy do you want to leave behind for brand Rohit Sharma? Do you plan to venture into commentary or become a coach post-retirement or better still an administrator like Saurav Ganguly? Hi, honestly, I haven't thought about it. But I will continue to do stuff that I, I like, uh, I want to indulge into. But I haven't really thought about what will be the plans after uh, the retirement. But again, like, you know, what, what I'm doing now, probably that is something that will carry forward and make me do so many other things uh, in future as well. So, yeah, that, that is what I feel. And uh, in terms of legacy, of course, see, you do as much as you can while you're playing. Even when you finish, you want to go in a way where you can look back and say, these many games I have won for India. You know, that is something that I would want, not the hundreds or the, the runs that I've scored. I want to be, be a match winner at the end of the day. So that is what I will look back and say, okay, these are the games that I won for India. It's been an absolute amazing conversation with the man of the moment, Rohit Sharma. But we are at the end of the episode. From the entire team at Kiska Brand Bachega, thank you, Rohit, for gracing the show. We hope you continue hitting them out of the park and make us all proud. Wishing you health, happiness, and many hundreds in the years to come. Thank you very much, Rohit Sharma, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Kiska Brand Bachega gives you a chance to visit our studios and interact with India's biggest celebrity brands live by answering a simple question Which of the following watch brands does Rohit Sharma endorse? A. Rolex, B. Tissot, C. Hublot, D. Fossil. Send your answers to us by commenting on our Instagram post and following our page at kiska underscore brand underscore bajega. I'll see you again at Kriska Brand Bajega where we bring to you the best of the marketing world. Until next time, this is Aditya Bhatt signing off. Happy branding. The talent in India is so deep and uh, we just need to encourage more and more people to come in. And I believe at Spotify, as we grow bigger uh, and we have more and more Indian users coming in and of course, the other global users we have, we believe we can take the Indian artists not only within India in a bigger way, but we can take them to the world in a bigger way.